Howdy do y'all, this is John, and today we're talking about Sentinel. That's what I'm going to call it, because I have no clue how to pronounce the actual French name. But it translates to Sentinel. And it's a new movie on Netflix right now. And in Sentinel, it deals with this Sentinel who's guarding France from terrorists and stuff like that. And her sister ends up getting hurt. And she finds herself in a position where she has to do something. Basically using her military skills to take care of these people. Now, to be fair, this movie's got some interesting stuff in it. And the acting's not bad. However, I do think this was a badly executed film and... And we'll get to that later. So first of all, the premise is sound. It's something that's been done before, yes, but you can do things differently. There have been times when stuff w was done differently and these kind of premises and, you know, as long as you can find something different to do, I have no issue with that. The problem is, is they just keep repeating the same sort of thing over and over again. She meets with her family. She meets with her friends, her girlfriends. And then she's on patrol. They keep doing that over and over again until like the last half an hour of the movie. Now, the acting's not bad. I don't think it was bad at all. I think everyone did what they were capable of doing. The main actress, Olga Krulenko, I believe that's how you pronounce her last name, I'm not sure, I'm probably screwing it up. But she did a good job here, and they do some good things with her character. She's not invincible, she gets her butt handed to her a few times, which you should even do that with male action heroes. However, a lot of the stuff about her just wouldn't work in the real world. She's a soldier, yet she has drug addictions, which I don't know about France, but over here in the States, as soon as you're caught. Dishonorable discharge. So based on my experience, it wouldn't work out in the real world. She also has PTSD from the wars, but beyond her having it, they don't really use it for anything. Bottom line is, is this movie does some interesting stuff. They have some sound ideas and stuff, but the execution of everything just bogs this movie down. And honestly, that's my big issue with it. I'm gonna give Sentinel a three. I was debating between three or four, and I just simply decided to ah, screw it, three. Right, thank you guys for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please also subscribe if you're new. And as always, please remember, the Podetsky will.